There are two more rather simple methods that can be used to manipulate data frames, dropping and transposing. The drop method by default assumes a row label index or a list of row label indices if you want to drop more than one row at a time. In this case, I'm going to remove the standard deviation row which I had previously created. I can remove several of them using the list. If I want to remove a column instead of a row, then I need to use the axis argument to specify that the dropping should be done on columns. So I can either specify the name of the axis or the number of the axis. Another method that can be used to change tables is the transpose method, which will reverse the rows and the columns. There's a long form, transpose. There's also a short form where you put a dot and a capital T. They both work the same way. So here I have reversed the rows which were previously the states. Now the states are the columns and the energy sectors, which used to be the columns, are now the rows.